Hey there, it's Jimmy again. I've got something interesting, as usual. But first, if you like what you see, please do hit subscribe and like, and uh, turn on notifications so you won't miss out on any new uh, offerings that we do. This is very cool, although it's a little bit of a mystery to me anyway. It's marked as a 1973 Jeep Willys pickup, which it, I don't think it is. It's uh, obviously part of the J-Line or Gladiator series. I don't really think it's a 73. I kind of think it's a J30 or J300, but not totally positive. It's obviously a mix, uh, kind of a mishmash of different pieces from various trucks. But uh, hey, if you know something about this, let me know. So let's check this out. This is totally cool. I mean, this is obviously missing its front grille, but it would have had the, um, you know, the more upright grille, which was the earlier style versus the later one, which went across. Um, it's missing the inside headlights, missing the bumper. Somebody obviously created their own out of tube steel and also put on a tow hitch in the front. So this is obviously a pretty rough and tumble truck. Definitely seen some use, seen some things, had a good life. And I'm actually surprised that this thing made it to the junkyard although it's probably rusted out quite a bit we'll take a look but as far as patina goes oh man this thing is just has bags of it i mean it's friggin awesome i mean i love this love the old jeep logo which is only the jp on this side but you've got the cool awesome fender flares here great great rust patina obviously a yellow hood from something else here you've got various colors going on or just the color is fading obviously got the uh, nice heavy door this has obviously been patched and fixed but uh, it's just neat and you know what's interesting here is the fuel filler on the pickups is here this though has been bonded over and the cab has a fuel filler here so but they're the same color so kind of looks original something's going on there though so we'll take a look inside the bed too and check that out Definitely heavy duty back here. You've got some awfully big uh, leaf springs there with lots of leaves on them. Bed's obviously a little crispy. It's cool, no more tailgate. Just the single round taillights there and a pretty industrial metal bumper here. Bed seems in pretty good shape for what we can see. Definitely metal, well, there's a few little holes in it. Um, but check out over there. See, that's where the fuel filler would have been. And it's uh, obviously been filled in from the other side. You can kind of see a Bondo plug in there. So not sure how that works. Was it like that from the factory and it used the cab uh, filler or did someone change that? I, I don't really know. So, but this would have had, you know, here are the tailgate latches. Pretty added, are these added on? I guess so. Pretty solid though. you have got the stake pockets, which is nice. But yeah, I mean, I just, I love the coloring on this thing. It's just, it's absolutely fantastic. Let's look under here. Obviously the same leaf springs. Frame has surface rust, doesn't seem rusted through. It's not, not bad at all. Bed's obviously rusting through, but the coloration on this thing is just, it's, it's great. This looks like it's been painted with a brush. Someone made it white up here in the cab. Love the tilt out windows here. Got the big mirrors and this is just too cool with a little overhang here very very nice styling then here this would have been the four-wheel drive badge and that i think it goes j e e p and then j30 is that what i'm seeing here or is it j300 not really sure so let me know if you know here's the front suspension front hub manual locking hub just five uh five lug wheel neat frame looks all right body looks okay obviously a little bent but not not too bad let's pop the hood it's nice this logo is uh, that's it's cracked there but it just looks great let's look under here well it's a v8 not sure if that's the jeep 340 or is it something else you guys tell me you would know looks pretty complete looks like an auxiliary heater up there or the heater bottle there fan belt still on there radiator is still here still pretty complete the yellow hood doesn't look quite as good on the inside as it did on the outside 
But uh, let's open the cap and take a look inside, huh? So this is, uh, this is the color it originally was. Oh, you know what? Actually, we have the color code. It says it under hood, so maybe someone can share what it is. Paint is color 225 and trim is 208. So 225 and 208 would have been the original color combination, which is obviously this aqua or teal metallic color, which is awesome. That's the door handle to get out, the window winder. Love this added on wood piece here as a grab handle. That's always cool. Four speed manual, I'm guessing. Three pedals and the foot brake. Got this great, the great old Jeep uh, instrument cluster there. And then HVAC off, air, defrost, heat, and then the blower. So you can turn that, that's interesting. Open the vents, nice, very cool. Wipers are down here, a couple of warning lights. This old two-spoke steering wheel is cool. This would have been another storage area, glove box in there, and the radio would have been up there. Here's the ashtray. And someone added a couple aftermarket gauges and there's the transfer case lever. The seat's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a seat reupholstered in shag carpeting, but hey, whatever works. With these pad type things behind them for padding, it's interesting. And what's it look like under here? Oh yeah, the foam, more of the green Brillo pad stuff, more shag carpet. Seat full through. Yeah, see, here's the uh, here's the gas tank. It's mounted right behind the uh, right behind the seat. Huh, interesting. And like I said, the fuel filler cap is right there instead of right there. So then the other side has the door card. Literally, the card part of the door is still there. And there's a speaker that uh, says "Made in China." So I'm guessing it's not original. It's not much left up top. You do have the dome light and the wiring here with some wire nuts. So maybe somebody added that, or at least changed the wiring. You've got a lot of flaky paint up here, a little bit of rust, and a little hole. That just got to suck in the winter when this thing just drips water in after it snows. Sun visors are pretty beat, just pieces of cardboard are left. And there's the mirror without much of the surround left on it too. But man, this is just, it's a fantastic little time capsule. Obviously well used, well loved. See, it's marked out as a 73 Jeep Willys pickup, but I don't, I guess it could be a 73, I don't know. But is it J30, J300, something else, J20? I don't know. Um, if you guys know, let me know. But like I said, if you liked what you saw, please do hit subscribe and like. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, or you know something, please, please add it to the comments. The more the merrier. So thank you very much. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Thank you.